In this video, we are going to explore functionality in Road Eng software as it relates to 3D rendering, compatibility to work with a wide variety of different data formats, as well as with different coordinate systems. In most of our videos, we focus on infrastructure design, but here we are going to look at compatibility, from both a reading and writing perspective. Let's start with 3D rendering capabilities. This is the location module. On the screen is the 3D window. The gray area is the terrain surface generated from our LiDAR data. The purple areas are design surfaces, and a road design is included in turquoise. In this example, the LiDAR data set is millions and millions of points. We can navigate around very easily without having to worry about overloading the system and bogging things down. As of version 11, you are able to edit alignment in the 3D window. We can select this IP, pull it around, and see the impact of the design changes very quickly. This is an existing project. Let's step back a few steps and take a look at importing the raw data that we can use for creating these surfaces. This is the terrain module. The terrain module is used for importing survey data, generating and modifying surfaces. The software can import a variety of survey data formats, including DEM, LiDAR, DWG, Land XML, and ASCII. Terrain opens with a blank white screen. To insert survey data, we press insert file. Here, we will insert DEM data in HGT format. The HGT file is in latitude longitude. We can keep it in its current projection, or, like we are doing right now, we could transform it to work in another coordinate system, right on import. Once our data has been brought in, we can use terrain modeling functionality to create a tin surface. In our terrain modeling calculation dialog, we can also control the creation of major and minor contours. Creating a TIN model is an essential step for doing any kind of road or site design project using Rodinj. Now, let's explore another survey data format. This time we will import LiDAR in LAS format. LiDAR data often includes point type classifications, here we can select the point types to bring into our model. For road and site projects, we most often select the bare earth ground points. Similar to the DEM data, after importing our LiDAR data, we can create our terrain model using the terrain calculation dialog. For particularly large data sets, we recommend utilizing tools for selectively thinning your data. Here is our model in 3D. As mentioned, Road Eng works with lots of different data formats, including data from other software. We will now demonstrate how to import DWG data. We press the insert file button and select our DWG file. This particular DWG is just 3D line work, the surface faces are not defined in it. But we can easily create a surface after import. To create our surface, we again use the terrain modeling calculation dialog. Here is our 3D surface model from the DWG file. Now, let's delete this and we can bring in a DXF example file. To delete all the data in our model we can open a new terrain, or select all, using Ctrl plus A on our keyboard and hit delete. Using file insert, we select our DXF file. This file is a wire mesh, so the actual triangle faces are defined, and we can use those to create our surface. Let's bring in a land XML file. Land XML files can contain multiple surfaces. After pressing file insert, selecting our file, we have the ability to select the specific surface in the file we would like to import. Here is a surface generated from RoadEng's location module, it is a road design surface with the defined triangles. Land XML is an excellent format for working with corridor files from other geometric design software such as Civil 3D or En-ROADS. The final, major category of data that we can import into Road Eng is conventional survey data, such as this CSV data. This raw survey data format contains coordinates and point codes that define features. Since conventional survey data varies greatly in terms of column assignments and point codes, Road Eng includes functionality to define and save custom import specifications. In our import dialog and in pre-saved import specifications, we can define the X, Y, and Z column assignments, how those points are treated on import, which point codes will be joined, as well as the color, line work and symbology. The raw survey data has been brought in as points and polylines. We can create a terrain model using the terrain modeling calculation dialog. Or, we could further define break lines or strings in the survey data, and make edits to features and individual points. As we have shown, using the terrain module of Road Eng, we can individually import many different formats and render 3D terrain models from them. 
But, we can also combine multiple data sets with differing projections. In this example, we have a LiDAR data set. We can create a new feature, and using the mouse, or with coordinates, we can draw or define whatever we like. Here we are creating a polyline using the mouse. We can also bring in another data set, such as a CSV file. In this case, the CSV file is in latitude longitude. In the import options, we can set the software to connect the points that represent this feature automatically, generating a polyline from it. When we import data with a different projection, we can do projection transformation on import. Our CSV data is now shown as a polyline in our model, alongside our LiDAR data. We could bring in polylines from many other formats, including GPS, KMZ, KML or shapefiles. Let's take this example a step further. Instead of just a polyline on our 3D terrain model, we can see a proper alignment with cuts and fill slopes. To do that, we use the location module. This is a project already set up in location. There are several ways to create an alignment. We could add in a new alignment by clicking an eyepiece with the mouse, or we could use a polyline feature from our terrain model. To demonstrate that, we can add another horizontal alignment to this project, selecting to create it from a terrain feature. Within the location module, we can control the 3D rendering of our corridor surfaces. Here we are adding a new corridor surface for our new alignment. If we wanted to take it even further, we can define individual surfaces within a corridor, such as the subgrade and pavement, rendering them each as their own 3D surface. Over the course of this short video, we have demonstrated how Road Eng can import a variety of different formats, and visualize the data in 3D. We created terrain models and polylines that serve as the basis for road and site design projects. At the completion of a project, you can export from Road Eng's location and terrain modules in a variety of industry standard formats including DWG, DXF, DGN, and Land XML, and if we want to go with standard formats outside of the industry, we can also save as OBJ or DEM. We hope this short video has educated you on the import and export formats compatible with Rodinj. Thank you for watching.